Growing up in north central Montana, Jaden Stanley Williams always dreamed of playing basketball on a big stage, and now that dream is here. Stanley Williams is in his second year at Moorhead State, a program set to make their first NCAA tournament appearance in 10 years on Friday. With strict COVID protocols and limited fans, it's not the usual March Madness feel, but that doesn't make it any less of a thrill. You know, I'm just soaking it in because it's such an amazing experience. You know, I'm, every day, like, I'm just grateful that I'm here. And we got to practice in the arena. We're going to be uh, holding March Madness in. And just being in that environment and being able to just shoot, get shots up, you know, and, you know, you could clap and hear the echo in the arena. It's, you know, it's unbelievable. The six foot seven junior comes off the bench for the Eagles and doesn't get a ton of playing time, but the fact that he's here at all is a testament to his work. Stanley Williams grew up on the Rocky Boy Reservation and spent some time at Great Falls High before moving in with his dad and finishing high school in Georgia. After one year of community college, he made the jump to Division I, and now he's in the big dance. According to NDN Sports, he's one of just four Native American men playing in the tournament. Florida State's Raekwon Evans from Billings is also on the list. You know, my aunties, my uncles, my grandma calling me and letting me know how proud I'm making them. You know, it was just motivation every day that, you know, it lets me know that they're watching me and they're just proud of me. The last time Moorhead State was in the tournament, they upset Louisville in the first round. The 14 seed Eagles take on West Virginia this time around, and Stanley Williams thinks another upset wouldn't be that far fetched. Just stick to ourselves and just be the tough, gritty guys that we are. I think we're going to be good because we got a good defensive front. Our offense comes along, and I definitely feel like there's nothing special that we need to do to beat West Virginia. We just got to be ourselves and go out there and have fun. Reporting from Great Falls, Isaiah Dunk, MTN Sports.